Jonas was huge. He's been huge all playoffs for us, uh, getting tip-ins, getting extra possessions. Uh, you know, making a, himself a presence down there on the low block. Uh, we're gonna, con you know, gonna need him to continue to do that. What would you say is the biggest difference between the way this team played in Game One and Game Two? Uh, I feel like they're pretty physical in both of the games. Uh, oh, are you talking about for us? Or for the, you guys, how, what was the big oh, difference okay. between the Raptors? Uh, I feel like we were just same thing. We were more physical this game. We were, you know, had more energy, you know, trying to get to the, you know, 50-50 balls, uh, and just basically just playing with more energy. Nothing really, you know, huge, uh, no huge adjustments, small here and there, but mostly just playing with energy. What were you telling each other at the end of regulation, especially knowing how the first overtime went in game one? Right. Uh, we just got to continue to lock in on the game plan, you know, execute down the stretch. Uh, get defensive stops. You know, uh, last game, I think when we went to overtime, they scored, you know, six straight, and we didn't have a, a point up there on the board, and we just try to get stops. How important is it for you guys to be able to get out and run and get stops in transition against this team? Right, it's important. Uh, it's very important to get uh, as much easy buckets as we can, uh, get, you know, guys like, you know, DeMar, Kyle, you know, whoever it is going. Uh, you know, it's very important, especially, you know, the guy, you know, white side in there clogging things up. It's pretty tough when, you, you know, the big guy. So to get as much easy buckets as we can is, is important. When the offense is stagnating the way it was a little bit in the second half and then a guy like Jonas is giving it to you, what, what, what can you guys do to help get him involved a little bit more? Uh, I think uh, help get Jonas involved a little bit more. Uh, I think, you know, maybe just feed it to him down low a little bit, maybe off the pick and roll. Uh, you know, maybe if he if he pops, he hit a couple of jumpers today, which is pretty good. Uh, he's pretty good at that. Uh, and just maybe more movement, you know, would create, uh, will make Whiteside, you know, for us to come pick us up and maybe he could get a couple easy ones. Corey, on the, on the Wade three, I thought you contested pretty well. Were you happy with where you were? Do you mm, want to be in the shorts no. a little bit more? No, yeah, I wanted to be in the shorts a little bit more. The thing is, you know, our, our, our crowd, such a great crowd, they were loud. I couldn't hear JV. Uh, uh, calling the play. I mean, but it's my fault. It's my fault. I should have been up a little bit, especially, you know, at that time of the game, up four. You know, I seen in his eyes that he was going to go take that three, and, you know, he makes big shots. But, you know, just another play. He just had to continue to work.